Okay, so this is for Aaron's automation challenge in his uh, newsletter here. So to curate a list of links from multiple places, I've got a little setup here. And I think the best way to go about doing things is the simplest. And if you can do it for free, that's even better. And in this case, we are able to do it for free and very simple. So there will be kind of a part one and a part two. So part one, basically anyone can do. Um, and it's probably the easiest way. And it may even be uh, cheating Aaron's, uh, what, whatever Aaron's looking for here a little bit. So uh, let me just get into it here. So first thing you need to do, and I'm sure many of you have it already, is download the Web Clipper for Notion. Uh, to access Notion, there's a free account that will suffice for this use case. So then go to Notion Web Clipper and install it for whatever browser you have. Then what you'll need to do is create a page uh, and create a database page and set it up however you like. Um, for me, I just have the name or the title, some tags that you, whatever you want to use, uh, and a URL, URL field. So for example, if I want to save this article, I would just click on the web clipper make sure I've selected my database in Notion and save page. And if I want to do that with a tweet, I can do the same thing. And let's say for the recipe example here, I can just use the web clipper and save it there. And from there directly, you can open it up in Notion, but I already have it open and it has saved each of these and it's brought in the URL. And then this part is not automatic, but, uh, you can easily and quickly do it yourself once you have some tags set up. Now I can just have a, say a read later here. Maybe I want to use this as a resource and this is a recipe. So I have this stored in my database now. Um, so yeah, this just is the, the most basic and simple setup that I would do use or workflow that I would use for curating a list of, um, material or things that I want to read later. And then obviously any of you that have database knowledge, you can create different views and uh, filter um, records uh, however you please. But if you want to take this a step further, let's say you want, um, you want to set up an automation that at the end of each day, anything new that you have added to your database, you will get an email. Uh, we can do this in make. Now bear with me a little bit. I have not used make a whole lot yet, so there may be better ways to do this, but uh, I've got a quick setup here. So um, what you'll need to do first off is add an integration or a connection. So if you hit the uh, three dots in the top right corner there, I've already set up a connection, but if you click add connections and then manage connections here, develop or manage integrations that will open up a new page assuming you are already logged in you can click internal create new integration name it whatever you want associate it to whatever workspace you need you can change the content capabilities there and then you would hit submit um, since i already have one set up i will go over to it once you hit submit, it will provide you with an uh, internal integration token. If you click show and then copy that integration token, um, keep that in your clipboard and you'll need to go over to make. So again, um, if you're on the free version of make, I believe you get about a thousand operations a month. And if this is your only um, use case, then that should be sufficient. So this piece is also free, but it's not as simple to set up uh, for people who are not familiar with it. Uh, again, bear with me, there may be a better way to have set this up or might be able to set it up a little cleaner than what I have. However, if you um, create a new scenario, add the uh, watch, database items uh, module and then from there you'll have 
a little insert here. A couple things I did forget to mention. First thing, uh, when I showed you here that you had to connect to your account, um, I forgot this is, if you don't already have your Notion account connected, this is where you would uh, add that integration um, key that we saved from here. So when you add the new connection type, you select your Notion internal, you can name it whatever you want. And this is where you would paste in that uh, internal integration uh, token. So once it finds it, uh, then it will give you these other options. And that's where you will add your database ID and that's okay. For... And then the other thing I forgot to show is um, if you just want it to send that email once a day, you can select that little clock here, uh, run scenario every day, and then select your time. So this is 9 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time, and that is it for the insert. To make a Notion internal connection, um, you'll have to authenticate it by logging in or connecting it to your Notion account. Uh, I have it set up to watch database items with created time. And then your database ID, you have to copy and paste in here. So what that is, is back in your database. So make sure you're on your database page. The ID, I forget how many characters it is, but it will be the first, um, first character after the .so slash, and it will lead all the way up to the question mark. So it may be 24 characters, but I can't remember exactly. So you need to copy that ID, paste it in here, and you can select your limit, however many you want it to uh, run at a time. And I used a variable, and I set up a name and a URL variable. So what that is pulling in is just this column and this column. Um, so again, I use set multiple variables module and from there i named it name and you got to pick the name from the properties i believe is where i got it from and then same with the url set that up to one cycle then over to tools and i did a table aggregator um, scroll down to the bottom and you can pick your two variables that you just created uh, for the column separator i have it set up with other and a dash and then the row separator I used um, BR, so that's a line break in HTML. And then to connect your email, uh, again, you'll have to authenticate the Google connection, enter in whatever email address you want it to send it to of yours. Uh, you can create your subjects, whatever you want, leave it as HTML, and then you select text from that table aggregator that we just set up. And I will run a test on this with everything that I have in here. So it should send me everything in this because they were newly created today and I have not um, sent it yet. So if I hit run once, everything ran through properly and I got an email from myself. And again, like I said, you may have a little bit cleaner way to set this up, but for me, this will uh, do the job. So it will provide me with the URL so that I can click on it to go read it. And it gives me the title um, or the name that is also found in the database here. So um, yeah, that's a really basic and simple setup for how this could work. Again, it's probably sufficient just to stick with the Notion Clipper. And uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully this helps and it might work for some people.